PGA Tour course, Steve. Doesn't get better than this. The waste management open is held out here. <laughs> did, did anybody just see that shot? Mike test one, two, one, three. Welcome back to another video. It's a pretty special video. We're out here at TPC Scottsdale out here in Arizona. Um, this is absolutely beautiful course. If you guys have heard of the Waste Management Open, um, but this is uh, one of the very few times that uh, Steve and myself play a PGA Tour course that is very special. So time. Um, yeah, it's an absolutely beautiful condition out here. Um, if you guys ever do get the chance to come out here and play for whatever reason, make sure you guys do. And the view, absolutely amazing. And uh, we're gonna be playing nine holes, obviously starting on hole 16. And then moving it up to hole one and then ending on hole six and then we've got garrett and micah playing with us as well so hopefully you guys are ready for that and meanwhile on planet i have no golf balls tyler go on go on yes. velocities holy that tastes like cardboard 165 yards my fingertips are not working i gotta hit nine too this go. is this is insane no pressure steven <laughs> no pressure garrett and micah literally just threw some darts as you guys can see on the green so i'm interested to see what me and steve can do here steve now first swing of the day Oh, I duck hooked it. Absolute duck hook to the left. That might, <laughs> that might still be in play. We start off hot, G. Hot, hot, hot. But again, you guys, make sure you subscribe. This is absolutely gonna be an insane video. Phoenix, Arizona. Um, this place is about 135 degrees right now. It's pretty hot, but it's a dry heat, they say. It's a dry heat. Shush up. TPC Scottsdale, again, absolutely beautiful course. Love that right there. Good job, Steve. Remember your draw, and the wind is from right to left up there. Not swung at all today. I need to be good. It's gonna be grab the left part of the green. You're right, Steve. Draw. Holy long. Okay, the ball flies a lot farther, obviously. Wow, I gotta figure that out. But again, that's the first swing. I'm not really gonna be too upset about it for right now. Wow, that felt really good, though. Nice it's little pure draw. Ball. Remember what they say, Steve. It's a dry heat. There's no such no. thing as a dry heat. That's so stupid. It's 110 anywhere. <laughs> yes, is it more humid when you're in Texas? Was it high? Yeah, but it, there's really no difference between this no. and the 110. Exactly. Um, make sure you guys subscribe again. This is an insane video. Not very many times that we get to come out and play an actual PGA Tour course. Again, the Waste Management Open is held out here, and that that is just in itself. The Waste Management is just insane, and it's an insane uh, thing to watch in the PGA Tour. Meanwhile, on Planet Off the Green, <laughs> that's me. How are you doing? You doing good? You look good? You probably smell fantastic good after morning <laughs> all right matt's a little left just go down there and hit it and trust the shot this green i've never been on something so smooth like between the rough and the green is literally very small difference not bad so far um honestly seems pretty good seems pretty true filming two videos at the same time What did we just do? Dude, holy crap. Did you guys just make double birdies? The 16th hole, we just made double birdies. Meanwhile, Steve. It's like two people filming the same video at the same time. That ball's no trickling. No way. Gee! We're oh. two cameras one time. All right, Matt for par save. These greens, insanely quick. Holy pure roll. Steve, sorry on, the, sorry, on sorry on that. Sorry on that camera work. We're trying to get through these holes quick. Yeah. Good. We're trying to get through these quick again. Steven now for par. I'm All right, and he it. now takes a one-up lead. I'll take that. Yeah, I'm gonna honest. give myself a, a bogey there. We're, we were in the same spot. It's yeah, it's uh, it's gonna pick up a little bit again. We're trying to work with some of this first swing jitters, I guess you could say. So I think it'll start picking up pretty soon again. Me and uh, Steve are both filming while Garrett and Mike are filming their match. So make sure you guys check that match out um, as well. I'm posting like at 11 or 12. They're gonna post like at five. So make sure you check both of them out. Steven, a one-up lead. Went to bed it. Went to bed it. Uh, Oh yeah. 3 3 a.m. woke up at 4, got on a flight and filmed for the whole morning at 7 a.m. and yeah. now we're filming a match. Yeah. No no warm-ups and we have been on a plane pretty much all day and we had to wake up at 4 a.m. So we're we're dealing with that right now currently. This hole is 381 yards. You have a very small slither slither to hit and mask going with an iron and I'm taking the big D stick. <laughs> This is, this is an interesting hole. Very, very tight. 230 is a perfect shot. If you want to get aggressive like Steve, you can do this. Ooh, wow, Tiger Woods. Dog. dog hook. Make sure you guys are copping that merch, you guys. This Steve. is sloppy. It's all right. 
warm up. I mean, you could say this is a warm up. Shouldn't have hit a driver. Yeah, this is a tough hole to hit a driver on, Steve. We haven't really hit any balls today. I'm gonna take it off, take it off that right side by that bunker and try and turn it in a little bit. Pure. No, it's gonna be in the bunker. Nope, sit. I don't think I hit it hard enough, Steve. Yes, it stopped short. I need that. I needed that right there. That's the leg up I needed. Steve did pull his a little left. I don't even know where it is. What do you mean? I literally <laughs> shanked it. <laughs> He's, he's coming across right now and hitting the left shot right now, so he's got to figure that out. I think his ball might still be in play it again. Is, but it's in that. I'm about to ruin my club for this video. Dude, there's a cactus every which way you look, so that's going to be fun. I was, last time I was in Arizona, I was in Arizona for a, a soccer a tournament, and I walked into the cactus, like on a Ooh. mountain walk, and I put my fingers in something. Yeah, not yeah. ideal. My ball's right over here. All right, and Steven's ball is somewhere in the uh, Cactus de Frar. Again, this is Arizona. So the ball, the flight, everything, it goes a lot farther. You guys know in a dry heat, there's nothing really to stop the ball. There's no humidity or anything to kind of make it slow down. So that's kind of what we're working with here. Again, you guys, this is insane. I can't really be loud here at TPC Scottsdale um, because again, it's a PJ Tour course, there's people playing. So I got to try to dial back some of the energy, some mature kind of schmanischmir um, for you guys. So hopefully you guys are going to enjoy that and stay tuned for that. We are going to try and play some really good golf. I am one over. Steven is even par he's got a commanding lead right now now we're looking in the desert of grogger to find steven's ball all right in I'm the like, trees i'm like 150 out seven iron in hand bump and run onto the green i this love is it. where you want to be this is where you this is be. exactly where you want to be at tpc he's got some 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 cornflakes i don't know what it is but he's got some 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 room to work with here hopefully he can hit this green wow he played that out And he has a birdie putt. Did, did anybody just see that shot? What just happened? He was in the rocks, folks. This is not sand. That is literally little wow. tiny pebble I mean, look rocks. Look at the bottom of my club. It's literally destroyed, but anything for the content. <laughs> That's literally what we want to see. Uh, me and Steve, again, even though we haven't played like at all today or hitting range balls, we're still going to make sure we focus and dial in so you guys can see some pretty decent golf. He is actually one up right now. Um, I have a pretty good chance here to potentially hit the green and make a birdie, so I got to try to make something happen. All right, Matt, dead center of the fairway, 130 yards, pin in the back you go over the green water yeah i got my 56 because it flies farther i literally cannot believe i hit the green do you guys see that seven iron duck hook gotta love it hang on uh -oh. i don't know that's gonna be kind of close hopefully hopefully there's a little bit of a dip like this where there's grass at because dude i'm not used to this super far like i hit that 30 like i feel like 50 percent power and it still flew over the green so i gotta i gotta hit my club super super light if i want to win wow it's almost impossible to putt to oh my ball ah uh, there's break there yeah yeah hopefully my ball's in play yeah hopefully. i'm gonna bring a ball just in case i want to i have a ball for you if you need it okay you got one yeah yeah i hit it i hit it right like here unfortunately hit it long that's fine I'm gonna have to place it because the ball's just gonna Don't do you. Dang it. All right, one, two in the water, three drop. This is for my par. That is such a good chip. Right, Steven good. is definitely in three putt territory. Man, my eyeballs are sweating hotter than. I right, meanwhile, Steve, literally complete opposite of the green. Like I said, three putt territory. Look at this. You guys, I have a chance on these greens today. I'm going to make this par. All right. You guys, I'm telling you, the only way that I have a chance right now with this hole is this green and the rest of the holes to come. Oh, that was coming in pretty hot. I don't know, folks. God, I hate it when this that happens. That would have been in the hole. That was, that was, it hit the heart of this. I fist pumped to that and it, yeah, then that it was, didn't go in. I don't know. Matt, all right, go ahead. This is for both. Let's see if I even make this. If I make it, then I don't know what we're going to do. Okay, I did make that. Again, we I don't know if we got to leave it up to the fans again. Uh, I don't know. I hit it was, that. It was had it did have some steam on it. But I did hit the center of the heart. That would have been in the back of the hole. Yeah, but it did hit the center. So that's a tough one, you guys. I, I guess at the end of the day, the fans are going to tell us what they want. I guess we'll have to see how the rest of this match actually goes. Um, because like, because if you win, like if you still win by like two strokes, like that's that hole's not going to matter. It's either Steven is two up or Steven is still one up right now. So we're still trying to figure that out. Um, but you guys let us know in the comments what you think. I'll eat those bunkers. Bunkers yeah, before I, I go into the water. I agree. I agree. Watch Steve getting involved here. Steve, you did it. You did exactly what you said you weren't gonna do. Oh, 
splish splash. I was taking a little bath. Does that mean I have to drop right here? Essentially, you have to drop right back here. Yes. Wow, you guys. Steven went a little bit bold there, and by a little bit, I mean a lot of bit. And so Holy Bunny is literally running like a maniac. Um, so Steven's got to get another ball. He's got to drop for his three back here. Um, that does help me out a little bit. I'm gonna be taking mine out by those bunkers. It's 296 to carry that water there, and I don't have my driver, my Maverick driver, or else I would. Um, so I'm gonna be trying to play it safe by those bunkers and give myself the perfect shot in. Is this par five? Okay, Steven's gonna drop up here. He's just gonna play it out to the right here. I should have had a two off lead. Did that go? Did I just hit? I went from even par to water twice. I might just give you this. I'll let you finish this hole because honestly, when you hit it in the water twice, it's time just to quit golf. I don't think I have range balls. Oh, that's a hairy situation. Dude, I, honestly, my first drive, if I would have aimed a little more right. That was literally right on line where Tiggs yeah, was. It's all right. I mean, even par, I would probably made a quad on this hole. Try and get this one in play. Yeah, I'm going to let you just finish this one because unless you go in the water. No, you played that perfectly. Yep, just outright. Didn't want to give myself... Any yeah. sort of, you see that fairway? Hey, fairways, we hit them. Sometimes we don't. My energy is starting to spike off the charts. I think I'm gonna give that last hole to Steve, to be honest with you, because I mean, it was dead center. I'm gonna give it to him. Uh, he can be, he's gonna be a two up and he obviously he gave me this hole already. Uh, so I will uh, now be one down. So Steve can still fight and try to get himself a W here at a TPC Scottsdale, Phoenix, Arizona. Literally beast of a golf course. All right, this is 180 yards. Probably gonna be my eight iron because I'm going long on everything right now. Probably gonna play a little bit of a draw since that's what I'm hitting right now. I don't even know what I'm hitting. At this point, just trying to get some warm up shots in. 180 yards, eight iron. Oh boy, that is good. Please get over that bunker. Bunker. Gosh, that came right in the bunker. That would have been just, a foot away from the pin. I'm just gonna hit a shot for fun. <sighs> Dang it, Steve's gonna hit one for fun, but that was an absolute beautiful shot. A nice clean divot, a little bit left, but I hit that right at 185 yards. <sighs> what are you on? Cause I'm sweating like a maniac. Let's just see if I get a hit the green. Yeah, what club you got, seven? seven. No, I would have chunked it. I actually got that pretty good. A seven chunk and he's still almost on the green. Dang, that's crazy. A nice little divot there by Steve. Steve has been working on his game a little bit. Um, he did a road to 70s with Mike Bury Golf. So if you guys have checked that out, make sure you do. His swing looks completely different and um, and it's kind of fun to watch. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. We are getting dialed in hole number 18. Um, and then we're gonna jump on the front nine and finish that up. So right now we're kind of playing this hole for fun since Steven gave it to me. Just want to kind of show you guys the course. So stay tuned, subscribe now. <laughs> Just gonna do this for fun. Cause I already gave him the hole. Matt, out of the bunker. This is not an easy bunker shot. Love that. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna try and tap that up for par. This would be his first par of the day. Not very many op opportunities we get to play PGA Tour course. But when we do, we play terrible. We shoot really high. Honestly, I'm going to give myself a bird. I'm one under through three. Yeah. Look how smooth it is. All right, I got to run and get my ball. It's kind of tough to miss when the greens roll super pure. You guys know the faster the greens, usually it's going to be a lot more true. You're going to be able to roll it a lot more true, just like I did there. And then I went straight in the center of the cup. So it is back to me, one down to Steve. Got to get involved. All right, Steve, you got some work to do. So. I, I do. I'm still one up, but I need my driver to start working again. Agreed. Again, he's one up through three holes. Hole number four. Nah, it's not working. It did go a little left. I don't know if it clipped that tree. Right. Yeah, he, he is kind of pulling it left a little bit. So Steve needs to figure that out. Yes, sir. Matt's driver broke, as you know. If you if you guys haven't seen, I've literally broke my three wood with TIG and then I broke my three wood doing a beat my record. So this is what I have left and it hasn't let me down yet. Trying to aim at those bunkers, you guys. Bunkers, that's a good, that's a good line. Same as me, he's in the same spot. We both went left, which is not where Dang it, not I hit that really good, but not good enough to put it where I need to be. Yeah, me and Steve are gonna be over there in the sand trap of uh, Droner, Schmiedeschmar, so we're gonna have fun doing that. Again, one down. Because I don't think it's even sand, it's rocks. It's rocks, you get good contact, but you just freak up your clubs. Yeah, the clubs are gonna be a little broken by the end of this, Harry. All right, a little bit of confusion, but we've got our ball. Steven landed in the rocks right here next to his home. Blind, blind shot once again, I'm gonna play a tight draw. I'm gonna aim for the right side of the green, let it draw in. I love it. He is about 160 yards out. I'm gonna be over here, see if I can't get him hitting this green. Where's it at? Is that any good? I don't know, I can't see it. Oh my gosh. You're, insane. You're like 12 feet. You have no idea what you just did. That's what makes me excited. That was a blind shot, what boys. A beat. 
That was a blind shot. Today, Steven's playing golf, but I say aim at the right side, let it draw. This draw, it is so much more controllable. Look, my, my club is literally in my pocket. This draw is so much more controllable than whatever the heck I've been playing. Imagine a nice swim in the cacti of Arizona. Yeah, these, I'm just getting Nathan alive by whatever the heck these things are. I'm gonna get right here, I'm asking to take a shot from there. Ooh, I am really close. Oh, dead straight, Steve. I didn't see a land, but I'm pretty sure that's you in that little grass bunker. Oh, no, it's on the green. I see it right there, all the way down to the left side. Oh, two really good green shots. One really far, one birdie bill. Again, move. clubs in the rocks, not a very smart play for us, but we do it because we love to see the spin. Literally, I'm just destroying my brand new clubs. So glad that Garrett is here to watch that beautiful shot I just did. Oh, gosh. Again, you guys, literally dual matches. This is insane. We've never done anything like this before. Let me know. Um, And, and then my ball, look at that back spin I created. So my ball hit right there, Tanner, and it actually spun all the way down there. Insane spin. Steven lands right here, thought he was a lot closer. So I'm out, I'm gonna be putting first. Kind of insane, you guys. PGA Tour course, Steve, doesn't get better than this. Give myself birdie looks. That last hole was a fluff up. That was really bad on my part, but. All right, Matt, go ahead and give her a whirl. Gotta read it, There's this is a double breaker. I don't know if you guys can this see. This is like, it, there's a ridge right here and it goes straight left into this goalie. So I gotta be up here playing some sort of thing. Pressure is mounting. Didn't hit it hard enough. Oh, uh, I didn't hit, stay up. He literally hit that with his back legs. All right, I'm gonna tap in for my birdie. Oh, that was a really bad putt. It was a C. I was literally on the C the entire time. And I don't really know how to putt on this green quite yet. So I'm trying to figure out what I just did, what that atrocity was. Frick. All right. All right, Steve, literally just a nice smooth tap in birdie for the man. Oh, you moving the clubs? Do you think I'm gonna hit him? <laughs> Potentially. No, he, no, he didn't. No way. What a putt though, a tap in par, putting pressure back on me. That, that, might, that was a gimme putt. I think that's a gimme putt. All right, this is Matt's only chance to high me. All right, go back to two up with a par. Wow, what a break. Gave it a run, though. Two Steve up. is back to two up right now. Dang, I, I, you know what? At the end of the day, that second putt, I'm glad I actually putted pretty well. Once I get these greens figured out, I think I'm going I'm to be a little bit of a contender. We're just getting started. That was hole four. You might be two up, but I can smell a comeback coming. All right, so there's a couple of Harrys over there. <laughs> Love that. We've got uh, hole number two. Again, you guys, we start on hole 16, 17, 18, so we've made it back out to hole number two. And Steven, you've got the tee. I don't, again, I don't even have a driver, so I have to literally hit this two hybrid off the tee, which is kind of decreasing my length a little bit, but it doesn't matter. I just have to hit my iron shots really well, give myself pretty looks. If I three putt, I three putt, but that's okay. Gotta make some putts out here, come on. A lot of room left, good, that's good for you, Steve. Every shot's gone left with my D stick, so we're gonna go right. Every shot goes left. Ah, he just, he's coming across it a little bit. I know, I know, that's how I bad I've been playing. I keep making par, no, I make pars, that's the difference. Yeah, like I, I, I just make pars and Matt makes bogeys, so I stay that little lead. Gosh, I'm out here losing to that. Now I gotta hit this thing, that bunker out there is about 273, so. Oh wow, chunk that. That is why I'm winning right now. Literally just chunked my two hybrid. You know what I was thinking about the entire time? I wanna hit my driver, that's what I was thinking about. I have my driver in there, should I hit it, should I not? I don't know. Blind shot to the green. I gotta hit it straight at these trees and play a little draw. Two iron in hand. 210 out, 220, wrong fairway. Teeth, not straight. Hairline, Fingers. still stuck. Hairline receding. Steve's got his two iron out. Gotta try and get this one out on the fairway, potentially out on the green. Wow, that's a mean draw. That's no good. Absolutely no good. Really? Yeah. Dang, Dang, Steve, what is happening with our game right now? I just, honestly, I think it's the environment, the temperature, like we just have a, a bunch of different uh -oh. changes. Not an excuse, we're just trying to get used to it right now. If I wasn't running on two hours of sleep, I think I'd be hitting the ball a little bit better, but scrambling for pars, you know the vibes. And then Matt can take an aggressive line pretty much over this tree and be all right. Needs to get one back, I'm two up. Yeah, I just need to get, I just need to get this out somewhere in the fairway, Steve. Where do I aim? Uh, right, like right over that tree. The green's to the left. Oh, right over this tree? Yeah, you'll hit your drill and it'll go into the hole. Dead straight. Out of the rocks, me and Steve have been playing out of the rocks pretty much all day, and we're, we're kind of getting used to it. Honestly, I'm hitting it a lot better out of the rocks than I am anything else. All right, hopefully he's somewhere in play. If not, I'm gonna have a chance to go back to one down and another chance to possibly win this. I'm trying to win this for you guys. Thank you to everybody who's watching. Love all you guys. Let's uh, let's literally get this video to at least 10,000 likes for playing on a PGA Tour golf course. So literally TPC Scottsdale, absolutely beautiful course. I'm sure a lot of people have wanted to play it, and this is this is what it is right here. So yeah, yeah. This dryness is messing me up because I think I had like 2:30 or something to the 
the pin and I barely hit a five iron punch out and I'm actually above the pin here. Steven is on the left side over there, still in play. I'm in the bunker, I'm in the bunker. Dude, this ball carries. Like that was such a bad shot, but geez. All right, Matt, get up and get down. I'm gonna hit the longest driver half. My driver's not working though. We got 60 degree? Yeah. Get in the hole. Literally go in. Sit. Wow. Yes! That's what I wanted to see right there. You guys, big leg up there, big head up for me. I'm trying to keep my head engraved, intact, in tuned. My ball right there. Got myself an absolutely beautiful par. I didn't think I was in play because mine was hooking so much and I didn't hit it well. Right. But I'm just in the front bunker. And honestly, the way it was rolling, if I was just right, it would have rolled onto the green. Which That's is, what I'm saying. It's so forgiving out here. It is. TPC Scottsdale, actually a little bit easier than I thought. But um, I have another par look here, so. Oh, oh this. <laughs> No. Throwing it away. I'm like throwing it away. Dang, he's not out. He can still make that crazy long par there. I've got obviously my par look here. If he does miss it, taps in for bogey. That would be a really good two putt. I would have to make that to win the hole and go back to one down. Bunky poo. Um, so let's see what Steve can do. Let's see if he can't make himself a really good putt. Let's see if Steve can make this long par putt. Holy, sit down. It did have some size. Oh my, no. No. Holy Harry. Steven's putts have been absolutely crazy. The ball is going to be near the hole 99% of the time. The other 1%, I'm not even going to hit the green. Dude, that's a that's a bogey. That's an insane that two putt, Steve. Dude, you see, you guys see me fighting like a mug right now. All right, Matt, to take the match back to me only one up. Dude, I am scrambling. I've made three pars, one bogey, and another bogey. It's not ideal. Actually, I would have quadded the two water shots. That's why you give it up. Yeah, that's why I didn't finish. All right, Matt for par. Take it back to one down. Trust the lines. Yeah. Trust the lines, you guys. One down. How many holes do we have left? So we have two holes left? I don't know what hole we're on. Honestly, we got to go check the scorecard, but whatever it is, I am one down right now, still trying to fight, still trying to make myself uh, visible for the leaderboard. All right, Steve, I don't, you, you still technically have honors. So yeah. this is a very big hole. 540 yard par five right here. It's going to be very interesting. We have a lot of room to the left, so I'm digging that right now. Um, Steve, you're one up. He's got to try and focus and hit something good here. Ah! How are you hitting it so good yet you're pulling it? I think there's room over there somewhere. There is, but I'm sick of hitting this stupid hole. Big shot for me here. I gotta hit something really, really beautiful. Steven's gonna be nice enough and let me use his driver here. Good shot into the bunker though. No, 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 no. I don't know, might be in the bunker. All I know is that I finally hit a really nice solid drive. I needed that solely because the last time, well, you guys have seen Fan Friday is already up and I played with Andrew, an absolute legend. I was kind of duck hooking my driver a little bit and then hitting it off the toe. All right, all right, Steve, what do we got looking at? We have, we're in the gravel again. I, I gotta hit my three wood out of freaking this disgustingness. I'm literally just destroying my clubs on this course for you guys. Yeah, this is a, this is one heck of a video. He's got about 260, 270 yards from back here. So he's gonna just try and hit this out on the fairway. Yeah, right at that tree, just left of the cart. But pretty much all on that left side's open, I think, Steve. I, I was scared. I was Holy. Scared. It's not worth destroying my three wood for that shot. Dang, I'm I'm should've, you should've grabbed an iron or something. Nah, no, just punch it out. I don't want to hit. I don't want to mess any of my clubs up. I wait for it though. Now Steve's right at three wood length, and I gotta try and find my ball somewhere. It's literally right there in the fairway. It's right there. All right, Steve's gonna move his cart. I'm moving the cart. Now I actually have a shot. Yeah. Now he's got a little shot into the screen. I don't think there's any water or anything on this hole, Steve. No, I'm gonna let this rip though. He's gonna let this rip. Hopefully, you can give him a nice shot. Third shot for Steve. God, I have the duck hook. Holy Steve, I saw it bounce really good. So, bro, Steve, your duck hook game is really weird right now. Now, one lesson just has me doing crazy stuff right now. All right, Steven has the hooks, that's for sure, but it's all right. I can still get that on one, two. I'm hitting four, so I can still make a par, but. Yeah, this is, a, this is a very long par five. It's about 270 for me, and I think I can hit this club about 250, so I'm gonna give myself an extra 10 or so yards, so if I hit this thing right about 260, it can actually roll up on the green, so. Yeah. It does have to be pure. I gotta go right over uh, the little man and Garrett, so hopefully I hit it good. Yeah. Right over him, it's gonna be short. Get on that green, baby, get on that green! Can't tell. I don't know, but I hit it the most pure four and I've ever hit in my life, and I needed to hit it there. If I'm on the green, I'm punting for eagle. You think you're gonna make a birdie? I'm gonna, I'm gonna two pop for birdie. All right, 52 degree, 50. Psych, I'm gonna make that for a freaking bur yamaja. All right, 56 for degree for Steve. See if he can't make this. What are you? What he just you chunked doing? it. No. I'll give you this hole. I'll pick up my ball. You don't even have to. You eat. Don't even have to punt. You're not out of it though. 
Oh, we're all off square. I'm gonna do this from the cart path. I mean, from the cart. But Matt has an eagle opportunity. I already gave him this hole, so we all are all square going into hole four with two to play. That is for his birdie. Honestly, I might not be out of it because I have that shot for par. If I got that up and down, I would, could possibly make a bogey. All right, Matt for a birdie. That travels, it that travels. And just like that, he makes a par. He had an eagle putt on the green and he makes a par. I'm not going to say anything because I'm literally had to get up and down for a bogey, but we are all square. Three holes left after this. 194, man. 194 and I hit it seven iron? <laughs> this is what it looks like when you record someone recording you. I've never seen that before. 194 to the pin, Steve. Went in the back, so we got a good shot in. Yeah, this might be an eight iron for me, I'm not gonna lie. I was thinking seven or eight. Steve, you have a seven iron in hand. I it do. is all square right now. Yeah. So this match is kind of getting intense. Steve has been kind of struggling with the duck hooks. He might need to get himself a shirt. But let's see if he can't focus in and hit something really pure. Oh, you're just what is that? Just coming across Literally, it. Literally, what? Dude, Mike actually has me twisted right now. Hey, you're not you're Mike though, because your path is not good. You're coming over the Yeah, top you're coming, you're coming like this, Steve. You, you hit it. I would never hit a duck hook with what? With my, that type of swing I used to have. Well, it's because now your club face is Now your club face is close. Yeah. So you need to get what we were working on. Yeah, so what you need to do is what Mike was telling you to do. Right? I'm literally coming in like that. Div it goes straight left though. Yeah, you're different. You, like I'm telling, like when you swing, it's like your your hands are kind of coming bump, bumping up a little bit, and you're hitting up. Uh, okay, good call by Tig. It does make sense. You don't want to give yourself a perfect lie if you're trying to not fly this green. So I don't know if Tig's long, but I know Garrett landed in that bunker and he hit eight iron. So this is a nine iron for me and Tig. 190 yards. You hitting nine? No, I'm hitting eight. I'm hitting oh, eight. Yeah. If we were hitting nine. That's literally in the first hole in one. Oh! Hey! Are you kidding me? Matt, that could be it. it took a kick to the right, but that, it was a good shot. That could be my first hole in one. That could, that, could be, that could be my first hole in one ever, Steve. Huh? Look at me. No, it's not. Nah, 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 nah. It took a kick to the right, but it was a good shot. You got lucky. Though. I got, I, when I'm telling you something about something, you got to watch your competitors. See, that's what happens in tournament place. Remember that, Garrett? You'd watch your, your opponents hit. Be like, he hit an eight iron, so I'm gonna hit an eight iron and maybe a little nine, a little schmaga schmiga schmear. This is what we like to see. My ball landed right here, a little bit of front spin right here. I have a really good birdie putt. I'm kind of digging that. Steven, he went a little bit long here. He's got to try to get an up and down. I don't know if he'll be able to do it, but again, hopefully you guys are enjoying this video. If you're, if you're still here with me, throw a thumbs up on the video if you haven't yet. Tell your friends, just come to this video. Don't even watch it if they don't like golf and tell them to leave a like. Want to get this video to 10,000 likes. Holy Steve! Look at how small he is up there. If he makes this, I will pay someone a trillion dollars. Holy shit! What? Holy spin! How did he just, what? Out of the rough and you spun it, like four feet. That's kind of insane. So Steve's technically not out of it because if he can make that par putt, he's in it. If I two putt and make par and he misses, I obviously am I'm one up now, but I'd like to make a birdie. That'd be kind of cool. All right, I got a birdie putt, left it uphill. That does help me. Honestly, me and Steve thought this was gonna be at least six feet away, but a little bit uphill, breaking to the left. Oh, I tried to hold it out there. Steve, trying to get an up and down for par. If you wanna do that work, Tanner, you can literally do it if you'd like to. Steven's putts have been unbelievably remarkable. I'm not saying you're in, that's a four foot slider. All right. All right, Matt, to win the hole and go one up with two holes to play be a huge comeback for me. Wow. Wow. Thank you. That Very was kind of a nice. slidey mix slide. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. One up, you guys, me and Steve have been playing some fantastic golf out here. And it's pretty good for fantastic. We've been Okay, well pretty good for two you, hours of sleep. You, you started you started trashed and then I was playing par golf and now I'm playing bogey golf and you're playing par golf. Alright here's the deal. You're one down but there's two holes left so you're not out of it? No, you are gonna duck hook this next shot. Hey, you cannot say that today. <laughs> yes. All right, Steve's gonna get involved here. Some room left and see if he can't put it down the center. Finally. Finally hit a normal shot. Over there by the trees, I think that'll be in play somewhere. I'm in play, but I finally went right. Opened the club face up. 
kind of messing with it right now. Yeah, I do, uh, I do actually thank Stephen for letting me use this. I gotta go get mine freaking reshafted again. So, hopefully driver is deployed here. Good, never saw it. That's right. I'm gonna zoom in over here. That was right, right at that, if I saw it correctly. Don't you wish you would have hit a duck hook there? Yeah, I kind of do. Dang it, Steve, we both hit it right. I'm surprised. I usually have been hitting a little bit of a pull draw like you as well. You were in here by a hair. If you're in here by this close, I don't you're think there's out. a chance that I'm in. All right, Steve, is literally in play by literally a hair, so. Cutting it close here. Eight iron, 160 away. 160 away. Eight iron, I gotta do something. I gotta hit this for a bird. I gotta make a birdie. Yeah, this would be insane if you could get this on the green. I think that started to draw. No clue. Might be bunker. It was going that far left? Yeah, like it started to draw in that tree line. He's playing a massive draw right now. I'm gonna drop somewhere back here somewhere. All right, Matt, we found his ball over there. I'm gonna let him drop here so we don't get in the way of other players. But he has pretty much the same shot, except he's in the grass. Yeah, I also have to get up and down for par if I want a chance. And Steve has a better chance to take uh, another one back here and put it back to all square. Meanwhile, in the rocks, once again, pin right side. Oh, I, I cut it. I cut it in there. I think that's on the green. Man, I am literally breaking this club in half. So that is now, I think, two or maybe three clubs that I have uh, put in the rocks. So I'm loving that. Um, and Steve, he's just been having the hooks today, guys. Uh, prayers up for Steve. He's up there. All right, so my ball actually landed short. And my divot, I think it might have been up here or somewhere on the green and actually spun back off. So that's not ideal. Steven, all the way down here. He's got a good chance here. If he can get this up and down for par, put the match all square. Sit. Sit, sit, oh, that lipped. All right, that's not a gimme, but that is gonna be a putt that I think Steve might make. If I miss that, then I'm really jumping in the rocks. Okay. See, you were gonna say water, but there's no water out here. But I can square the match up. With one hole to play, I can come out with a victory royale. It's gonna come down to the last hole, Steve. Yeah, he needs to get this up now for his bogey. Yeah, that's gonna be a tough bogey. I'm just gonna tap mine in. I, uh, I didn't want to short myself out because I wanted to make sure I gave myself a chance to potentially make it. And um, hopefully Steve can make it. This is not a gimme. It looked a little closer. Let's see what he can do. Not a gimme, <laughs> uh, that's a gimme. I'll uh, see if I can't make this with the wedge one-handed. I'm still gonna give it to me because I think I can make this bogey. Yeah, I think I would've made That's pretty dead straight. Final hole, you thought you had it tied up. Steven never gives up though. He never does. We're all square going in the final hole. And for some reason, I'm feeling a birdie. Okay. But again, the reason why we're finishing on hole six, you guys, because we did start on the famous hole 16 out here at TPC Scottsdale. So that's the reason why coming up on our ninth hole of the match, you guys wanted to see regular golf. I posted uh, me and Steve's wedge match just to see if you guys would like that. Turns out you guys probably, you guys didn't like that as much. So we're going to be playing this right now, last hole here today. Steven, I don't want to hear nothing about nothing. Last hole, hole six. There are bunkers all along this hole and it is straight open on the right and it is pretty open on the left here. A very, very great hole to end. And I hope you guys are ready because I'm ready to slap this ball a thousand yards and so is Steve, ready to dive in. Oh, he yeah. went left, he went left. Oh, I can't mess this up, Dude, Steve. I, you guys know how difficult it is to go from a, a mean slice to a mad hook. In a matter of uh, a day. A literally a day. I, I need him. Club path figured out, Steve. Gotta get you back on the range. I'm opening my club face up. That's the weirdest thing. I open it up a lot. Yeah, it's like when you're swinging, you're kind of going like this. So you're bringing your arms across your body. So why isn't it slicing? Well, because when you come when you come across it like this, it forces you to pull it like this, so then you're already over there. I would die, I would do that, and it would slice even worse whenever I'd come across it. Really? Yeah. Oh, I was fine, I, I literally left that face straight left. But anyway, trying to aim at those bunkers, trying to have that same shot I did in the last hole. Nice little cut. He aimed at those bunkers, is he in them? He's short, I think. I saw it bounce short. I think it's short. Just that was a stinger driver. Holy heck. I'm good from wherever I'm at because I somehow managed to get out of my sticky situations. But, yeah. and you also might have cut the course. You might have like 100 yards in, which is also going to be insane. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Go subscribe to me and Steve right now. It is potentially, possibly maybe an option for me. If you don't subscribe, I mean, I do show up at your house. Nothing weird. It's not an option for Steve. So those are your two options. <laughs> All right. All right, and here's Steve. He unfortunately, he has to take a drop. He could not find his ball. It's been really tough out here. Literally cactuses everywhere. It's kind of tough to find balls, but. 
I just gotta try to make a bogey. Yeah. That was a rocket. He's got the hooks, guys. He's got the mad hooks. Don't know where it came from. I gotta hit the range. He's gotta hit the range, he's gotta figure it out, you guys. It's not good, it's not fun to have these. All right, Matt basically has this wrapped up because all he really has to do is hit the green. I am nowhere to be found. I gotta figure out my driver. It literally killed me so many times today. It did. Meanwhile, I have 164 yards of this pin. Got a nine iron in hand. I don't think I can get P wedged there with this wind. So I'm gonna try and just hit a good shot here. Yeah. I think there's a ridge there and I think that would have hit green. That divot right where I hit. I'm yeah. loving that. Started off pretty shaky, kind of turned around at the end there. Meanwhile, Steve, right here after his drop, he has to get this up and down for bogey. Holy spin. Holy wow. shot. What a shot. Yeah. Short game today for Steve has been kind of remarkable. I know, but my driver is literally useless. I have hit it straight left every single time. Dang it. All right, and Garrett and uh, Mike could just wrap it up their match as well. So some pretty interesting golf. Again, if you guys kind of like that dual thing that we did, let us know. That's kind of cool. Steve going to tap in here. Just like that. Bogey. Finish with the bogey, and that's how I'm probably going to lose. Gosh, guys, I had it. All right, Matt's for a birdie chip. I'm not saying I'm out of it, but all he's got to do is make a par. Got to get this up and down. He's got to make that for the win. Kind of important putt, Steve. I just flipped out. Because you just made a bogey. We're going to finish our playoff hole here on hole 16. The very famous, you guys know, it's exactly where we started the video. Hole number 10. We're going to keep playing this hole until one of us wins. So hopefully that's on this hole. Like I said, we try not to do closest to the pins on these sorts of videos. So hopefully you guys are um, enjoying this. Stay tuned, stay ready. Um, again, hopefully uh, you guys subscribed because I will find you at your house and say hello. All right, Steve, what club do you have in hand? Nine iron. Nine iron for him. See what he can do with it. Brawl. Look at that release. Not bad. Not Did you take though. a lot off of that? Heck yeah. I just need more also, control. I'm, I'm literally hitting a 52 degree. I'm putting Matt with the 52 degree. Yeah, this is about 140 yards from here, so hopefully I can even get this there. That's probably going to end it right there. Yes. I had one shot left. That's that was the shot I had left in me. Right. What there. happens if I make mine? If you make your birdie, then and I miss, you win. It's a playoff hole. Whoever wins is done. Oh yeah, forgot. This is insane. Shout Come out on. to all of us because we have all been struggling today. It's been one literally crazy day, but we we have literally not stopped doing anything. We have not stopped today. <laughs> let's get something rolling again. Let's try and get 10,000 likes on this video and 10 11,312 on the what's in the bag for me. If you guys want me to get rid of my irons, if I'm nice enough, potentially a new giveaway, I might give away just that ping two hybrid, but that's going to take a lot because I cannot get rid of that club. But let's see what Steve can do. I'm sick of talking today. My throat my eyes, my hair is starting to fall off. Pig's acting like a pro right now. He's recording, walking up his little strip. Anyways. All right, um, for birdie, I'm actually a little farther than I thought I was. No. He left it a little short, not that much short. I think that could make that, but well. All right, Steve, for par. No, you two button, you went. Oh, fuck. It's tough. I started with the par on this hole, and I ended with a bogey. Had that. My ball landed right here. If I can end on a birdie, that would, <laughs> would kind of be cool. We started with a bogey. I started with a par, ended with a bogey. Started with a bogey, ended with a birdie. That'll be all right. Oh! A par would have par would have won it, but I really would like to make a birdie. But I'm not really complaining about that for today. The game for me and Steve, it has been pars and bogeys, but that's okay. Um, at the end of the day, me and Steve are gonna continue playing more matches on Sunday. Let us know if you guys like me and Steve competing. It did get a little heated and a little bit more competitive today because Steve had a like he had a really good chance of winning. So that's what I want to see from Steve, especially. Obviously, I wouldn't say he got a little lucky today, but he was kind of pulling the ball off the tee. It was a real struggle. But my my iron shots is where I lost a lot of my game. I was kind of drawing it here and doing something weird there and my putting was also really bad i think i had two or three three putts so again hopefully you guys did enjoy this video that's it from here at tpc scottsdale matt sharp reporting live take it easy folks